say opposite, you say different. When I say opposite, you say different. Opposite, different. Opposite, different. Opposite, different. Big and small, up and down. When I say opposite, you say different. Opposite, different. Opposite, different. Boy and girl, happy and sad. When I say opposite, you say different. When I say opposite, you say different. When I say opposite, you say different. Opposite, different. Opposite, different. Happy and sad, tall and short. Opposite, different. Opposite, different. Opposite, different. Big and small, up and down. When I say opposite, you say different. Up and down. Boy and girl, happy and sad, tall and short, big and small. When I say opposite, you say different. Hello, boys and girls. Today we are going to do opposites. Today we are going to do what? We are going to do opposite. Can you tell me what are opposites? Do you have any idea what are opposites? Okay, not to worry. Today, I am here to help you with opposites. Well, opposites are, are pairs of words that have different meaning. What do I say opposites are? Opposites are pairs of words that have different meaning. So, right, for example, we have up. This arrow is pointing up. So, this arrow is pointing up, right? So instead of up, we would have down. So this arrow is up and this one is pointing down. So you have up and down. Let us spell up. U, P, up. So this arrow is pointing where? Up. Spell up. U, P, up. And the opposite of up is down. The opposite of up is what? Down. So this arrow here is pointing where? Where is this arrow pointing? It is pointing down. So instead of up, we would have down. So let us spell down. D-O-W-N. Down. So the opposite right here, the pair of opposite right here, are up and down. So now we have another opposite. We have two pencils, right? Can you tell me what you realize about these pencils? Oh yes, one is tall, right? So this one is tall and the other one is what? Short. So the opposite, the pair of opposite right here is tall and short. So one pencil is tall and the other is short, right? So we would spell tall because this pencil is tall, so we spell tall, T-A-L-L, -L, tall. Let us spell tall, T-A-L-L, -L, tall. And the opposite of tall is what? Short. The opposite of tall is what? Short. So let us spell short, S-H-O-R-T, short. Let us spell short, S-H-O-R-T, short. So the opposite, the pair of opposite right here is tall and short. So we have one pencil is tall and the other is short. The next pair we have right here is, can you tell me what that look like, please? Yes, that is a girl. So we want to find the opposite of girl. Do you know the opposite of girl? If you're not a girl, you're a what? Yes, you're a boy. So if you're not a girl, you must be a boy. So we have girl and boy. So this pair of opposite right here is girl and boy. So the opposite of girl is boy. So let us spell girl. G-I-R-L, girl. Let us spell girl. G-I-R-L, girl. And the opposite of girl is what again? Boy. The opposite of girl is boy. Do you know how to spell boy? Okay, let us spell boy. B-O-Y, boy. Spell boy. 
B-O-Y boy. So this pair right here is girl and boy. This pair of opposite, you have, if you are not a girl, you must be a boy. All right, going over to the next pair. So we have two circles right here. Can you tell me what is the difference right here? What is different about them? Yes, one is big and one is small. So one circle is big, one circle is big, and the other is small. So we have big and small. If it is not big, it is small. So let us spell big. B I G big. Spell big. B I G big. And we are going to spell small. S M A L L small. S M A L L small. So you have big and small. So we are going over to our another pair. Right? We have another pair right here. So we have two faces right here. One is happy and the other is sad. So if you are not happy, you must be sad, right? So happy and sad. So the opposite of happy is sad. So this one is happy, seems smiling, and this one is sad. So we have happy and sad. Let us spell happy. H-A-P-P-Y, happy. Let us spell happy. H-A-P-P-Y, happy. And let us spell sad. S-A-D, sad. S-A-D, sad. So this pair is happy and sad. So boys and girls, if you're not happy, you're what? Yes, you are sad. So you have happy and sad. Big and small. And then you have up and down. So one arrow is pointing up and the other is pointing down. And we have two pencils right here, right? So we have one, one short pencil and the other is tall. So we have tall, tall. Yes, we have tall and short. So this pencil is tall and this one is short. And we have another pair right here. Girl and what? Boy. So if you are not a girl, you must be a boy. So these are the opposites we are doing today. We have many more opposites, you know, but these are the only one we are doing for today. So we are, we are doing opposites. Boys and girls, what are we doing today? Opposites. And opposites, opposites are pairs of words that are different in meaning, right? Opposites are pairs of words that are different. So if you are... If you are not, if you are happy, the other person is sad. And if, if you have something big, the other one must be small. And if you have an arrow pointing up, the other one pointing down. You have two pencils. One pencil is tall and the other is short. And you have a boy and the other person is a girl. So these are called what again? Opposites. And opposites are pairs of words that have different meaning. When I say opposite, you say different. When I say opposite, you say different. Opposite, different. Opposite, different. Happy and sad, big and small. When I say opposite, you say different. Boy and girl, tall and short. When I say opposite, you say different, opposite, different, opposite, different, happy and sad, boy and girl, big and small, tall and short.